Hello, pal number one, and welcome to your reading. Thank you guys so much for being here today. We're going to be taking a look into the energy at why it is that people are intimidated by you. And sorry, don't mind me fixing my camera placement. So if you guys chose the life experience or pile number one, this reading is going to be for you guys. Okay, so there's been a lot of people who have been witness to your life changes recently. Um, or they've been on your path and have seen how far you've come from where it was that you started in a particular focus or like career or project or goal. <clears throat> people are saying that you guys have grown a lot and you've transformed a lot and you've become much more than what people would have assumed of you to have become from the experiences that you came from uh for example i don't know you guys have grown yourselves from out or outside of like the status quo you've become something that a lot of people wouldn't have expected of you like you could have come from some very very cruel and narcissistic um backgrounds and somehow you have turned out to be extremely sensitive, extremely caring, extremely open and accepting and loving and compassionate and graceful. <clears throat> a lot of people feel as though um, there was a lot of lies that were told about you, Pile, number one, whether you know this or not, this is happening in the background. People are talking about how they feel like there were lots of lies that were said about you or... You have down-talked yourself to a lot of different people in the past leading up until now. Only you'll know what resonates, yeah? So take it as it, as it comes and goes. Um, for others of you, people see you expanding and what it is that you've been focused on. People see you kind of uh, expanding, reaching new horizons is what I just heard. You guys have been planning or felt like you didn't know what you were wanting to do. Um, but people see as though you're putting your ideas into practice and you're more so seeking balance in life. That's how people are witnessing you. Um, <clears throat> or at least that's what people think you're focused on. Independently creating harmony and seeing to your everyday today responsibilities and duties. People are intimidated by you, part number one, based on your outlook on life, your experiences. <clears throat> the way it is you've been able to cultivate goodness and nurture goodness into being. Um, people were saying that you've got a lot of good things going to come in for you as well. You just haven't seen it yet. It's not harvest time yet, but it's almost there. Um, you know what I'm saying? Or the other way that I'm hearing it being presented is like, keep going because you're almost there and people can see it. Um, you're just... Gathering resources, gathering information, being patient and then allowing your processes to mature is what I'm hearing here. And that's what people are saying. That's why people are intimidated by you. You're, you're patient in what it is that you're doing and you're diligent. Uh, you've been persistent and I don't know, it's kind of like you've adopted a new way of lifestyle, a new way of being, a new way of seeing the world. And also a new conditioning for your environment to thrive. Um, you know what I'm saying? The things that you're recreating in your environment, you've been creating a safe space for it to grow and thrive is what I'm getting intuitively um, from this card here. So I would also say that you guys have welcomed in so much transformation. And I don't know, there was a time period where you could have felt boxed in, posted up, like stagnated. Or at least people perceived you in this way, but you weren't stagnated. You were you were very, very strategic in your ways of movement. And people have put that, um, they've applied that knowledge into their considerations, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, I don't know, there's been a lot of people that haven't acknowledged you for the true efforts and true values you've kind of developed, the true power that you've you've um, been kind of like nurturing 
into being or like the result of something that other people didn't see the vision of it's starting to grow and I don't know something big is going to happen in regards to what it is that you've been focused on and felt stagnated in in the past <clears throat> okay so why is it that people are intimidated by those who have come to view pile number one people are intimidated because you don't listen to the advice the concerns the objections or even the encouragement and validation of other people outside of you you're very solely focused um you do things in calculated ways and a lot of people outside of you don't actually understand this you do it in strategic and calculated ways but people perceive it to be as confidence um and that intimidates people outside of you you're also extremely intuitive and I would say you've probably reinvented yourself. This card's not supposed to be there. You guys have reinvented yourself in the past with the butterflies being in the background. You could have possibly even reinvented yourself again and again and again. Um, sorry, two moments. I paused the video because I heard people outside and I wasn't sure if it was a visitor or not. So, I don't know. Perhaps you guys could have also experienced a lot of like intrusive or yeah intrusive people or like people who gave a lot of unsolicited advice and guidance when they didn't really understand you or understand what it was that you were doing where you were going and what you had already worked on so i think this is why you didn't take um a lot of things on board too too much you know what i'm saying two seconds i dropped a card So that means this is important mystery reading between the lines and intuition so yeah i would say that you guys have abstracted life wisdom through accepting life lesson from past experiences and this intimidates people around you as well just so you know um your ability to extract wisdom insight <clears throat> from very heavy experiences that most people would be afraid to experience um, and this has probably helped you to advance your own intuition or to even gain confidence in your intuition. You've had to undertake a lot of things on your own, if you understand what I'm saying. Like you've, you've gone down a long journey on your own where most other people seek support or have support. And in one way, it, in the past when you were reflecting on your journey, you probably were quite upset and you probably felt quite alone, quite um, unsupported. You might have even asked yourself why you were being punished. Um, <clears throat> but now, and if not now, in the very near future, you will have or will come to realize, yes, pile number one, that this has been the most empowering, most important, most impactful, most transformative, most rewarding, um, and most gifting process you will have gone through up until this point of life experience mm. this is because you learned about the totality of yourself your capabilities your deficits your and you went through disillusionments which in turn initiated you into awakenings of higher forms of consciousness consciousness because you became aware of the lower operating forms of consciousness if that makes sense so yeah, you guys have done a lot of work in, within the psyche or the universe that is you, the world that is in you. Okay, and this intimidates a lot of people outside of you, being for real, for real. People see you as someone who is very well-rounded within your own um, self-awareness, which means you're it's it's going to be very hard for people to manipulate you, to lie to you, to pull like... The wool over your eyes to confuse you um to distract you to shift you to move you to change you to impose their own will over you it's probably a better way to put it here mm. okay let's see why is it that people are intimidated by those who have chosen pile number one please guides guardians in universe energies in service of the highest and greatest good of those that have chosen pile number one channel this energy into the cards please why do i thank you people are intimidated by you because of your intelligence and your creative problem solving skills 
you are someone who has the ability to design your fate, to design your destiny, or to take leadership over your own life because you're very well disciplined within your own morals and own sense of self. Um, you're not afraid to experience the consequences of your own actions. And when you are kind of intimidated by experiencing that, you tend to self-reflect a lot more with this uh, octopus totem being here. You guys are problem solvers, naturally. The octopus is very good at intellectualizing their situation and adapting their intelligence based on their environment. So they're very clear sentient and very clairvoyant um, because they are very good at taking in and perceiving and envisioning what those perceptions are, you know. Um, and that adds to the intelligence. So I would say you are someone who is very open-minded as well. And that's something that a lot of people find intimidating about you. Because you have a way of relating everything to itself. If that makes sense. I don't know. You, you have a way of making things make sense without things actually making sense to begin with. Um, you're very good at finding the missing pieces to tie up loose ends. And you're very good at creating clarity in places where most people experience confusion or delusion or like I don't know it's delulu is what I just heard um I don't know corrupted ideas of certain understandings where people feel as though they're enlightened when really they're not they're, they're still limited you help open up the minds of other people around you and you help people to identify when they're thinking in black and white ways um, you help connect people to their own primal nature, I will say, and you help connect people back to their own inner strengths and resources. You help to teach people what it means to become aware of what it, of how to utilize your own resources and natural strengths, how to monetize ideas. Um, you could be very good at facilitating um, people into career directions or like life coaching in some sort of way, shape or forms. You could be very encouraging people in your life. Or people who are problem solvers for other people who are experiencing a lot of problems. You offer solutions to situations that don't make sense. And you give clarity to situations that, once again, don't make sense. Um, I don't know. You might become irritated with closed-minded people. So that could be something that you try to not avoid. But you don't tend to spend a lot of time exposing yourself to. Uh, because, yeah, I don't know. You're very, um, you're always evolving and you're always learning and you're very, very multi-talented and that's something that also intimidates a lot of people around you, pile number one, naturally. You know, if you don't have a skill set, you're very good at learning very, very quickly on what it means to pick up on those skill sets to then apply it in your life in the best way possible. So, yeah, I would say that you are people who have gone through a lot of sticky situations in your own life, which has taught you to tap into the true depth of your own psyche, your own capabilities, and your own potential. Um, and because of the, the past that you've come from, you've also learned a lot of life skills. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so people are intimidated by how you can use many different channels or opportunities or challenges or obstacles in life to your own benefits. Um, like the spider, they're very good at creating their home where they deem it most appropriate. And their home ends up being not just their home, but their source of getting food. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> So this is saying you're very good at creating or making the best out of whatever situation you find yourself in. And if you don't know how to approach that situation, you're very good at obtaining or gathering knowledge uh, through what you know of yourself. You seek it out and you internalize information in ways where you relate it to your strengths so that you can adapt to situations, you know and life circumstances so that you do have the ability to make the best out of life. I would say that you are very, very adaptable and very flexible in your ways and approaches. Um, you are very well-rounded in your own self-character, and this is something that's very intimidating because, once again, people can't lie to you, people can't deceive you, people can't give you excuses as to why they can't better their life uh, because you, you have solutions. You're very clear cognizant, clairvoyant, and clear sentient. You might identify with all three or maybe only one or two, you know? It's just all different. <clears throat> You'll find, though, everybody has the ability to develop their own psychic senses. It's all about gaining self-awareness, you know? Mm. And having enough 
life experience that allows you to explore your talents and your skill sets and put into use to then learn what are the best ways of using uh, certain things or approaching life in certain ways. And that's what really intimidates a lot of people around you right now, pile number one. So that's what I'm getting from the energy here. I hope this comes a positive service to you. And with all that being said, until next time. Bye. Hello, pile number two, and welcome to your reading. Thank you guys so much for being here today. So we're going to be taking a look at why it is that people around you are intimidated by you. Disclaimer warning. Um, this is going to be a very blunt reading. So if you guys chose pile number two, you chose the image of the cat. This is the ego card here. Tapping into your guys' energy. What is it that you guys have been focused in on recently? For the masculine viewers here, and I mean masculine and energy, go and check out Element by Pop Smoke. Um, you guys have been learning lessons of the ego around vulnerability your ego has been very protected of protective of you guys becoming vulnerable or uh, opening up emotionally in your connections and situations perhaps there have been certain things that have come up in your past that have still left a little bit of emotional trauma and you guys have been working to heal that the next step in your spiritual growth process is learning emotional intelligence around what it is that you are defensive of um, and and I think if you guys spend time uh, reflecting you will find it's to do with emotional vulnerability and that's because you aren't ready to protect your emotional vulnerability through emotional intelligence so you guys have could have found yourself kind of avoiding Probably internalizing the truth of what it is that you've been feeling and taking ownership of what has supported your feelings into embodiment. Because once you take accountability of what contributes to that energy, you lessen the effect of that thing or that outcome because you're undoing what has been done, if that makes sense. And you guys are adopting new forms of discipline within yourself um, some of you guys have also been lessening your pride through self-care you guys have been learning that the pride has been masking the true self-awareness of certain things that you had yet to work through but you, you this is the past process you guys have been doing a lot of shadow work um, and I want to acknowledge that a lot of you guys have been doing a lot of healing work. Um, and I want to acknowledge and validate that also. So you guys are could have also gone through what we call ego deaths. <clears throat> either in the past or recently. And you could have been working through the release of material obsession, possession, or importance and seeing into the true depth of what prosperity is, which is beyond material. Material is just an aftermath reflection of true prosperity within. Understanding your true worth is the, the truth of prosperity. That then attracts in the material to complement the worth that you are. It's not an attachment to your identity and it's not a definition of your worth. It's just a complementing attracted energy as a result. At least through my experience and what I've been taught by spirit so far. So yeah, you guys could have been focused on... Sorry guys. You guys could have been focused on material matters um, especially at this point of choosing uh, this pile so let's go ahead and take a look at what it is that people are intimidated by you people could quite literally be intimidated by um, your achievements or your material possessions your status and your beauty by your number two people could also be uh, jealous or intimidated 
of your relationships, your adventure, your cultural background, your cultural knowledge, your knowledge of self as well, like your self-awareness with the number 15 being here on top of the ego card, if you guys can see that. Hopefully you can. If you can't, it says 15. Um, but yeah, I don't know. A lot of people are intimidated of the way you carry yourself through life. You know, the confidence that you might have developed in yourself, or at least that's how people perceive it. But I don't think it really was confidence. I think it was defense mechanisms pile, number two. So, why are people intimidated by my pile, number two, viewers, please? You guys have been learning as well. Motives. The difference of motives within people. You've been much more sensitive to identifying with intentions and motives and agendas. Um, you're starting to identify why people do good things for themselves and their own successes and then being shown also why people do things for the sake of being and encouraging goodness. You know what I'm saying? For the betterment of everybody. So you're starting to see why people, how some people work on themselves to become their better self so that they can welcome in better ways of being and inspiring and embodying because goodness is contagious and then you're seeing people who are doing things for selfish reasons but claim for it to be good and you're learning to discern or develop and it's like developing an unshakable confidence in your better judgment We have integrity and compromise. Yeah, I guess you guys are kind of defining integrity between people. It's funny because these are polarizing energies with ego and integrity coming out here with the wise woman of Wonderland, number 21, which reduces down to number three. And then you have one and five, which reduces down to six. So we have three six here. <sighs> it's like... You are now going through processes of learning what it means to authentically align with people who are like-minded and like-reflective to your soul self rather than your ego. I think in the past you've, you would have noticed a lot of people in your past would have reflected certain triggers to you. Um, they were teaching you more of what it meant to tap into the understanding of your ego so you may become enlightened to it, to discipline it. But now you would have found yourself consciousness shifted and now experiencing a different timeline of of um attracting and choices that present to you what types of people you want to align with moving into the future <clears throat> we have spirit communication paying attention number 11 We have the Swan Queen, Transformation, Intuition, and Patience, number 13. And then we have Synchronicity, Divine Intelligence, and the Cause and Effect, number 4. So yeah, people are intimidated by you because of your connection to spirit and how much spiritual work you've done shadow work you've done, spiritual transformation, consciousness transformation, transformation of self. Um, people are intimidated by your connection to spirit, but there's a warning here that you don't allow your identity to become attached to what it is that you're capable of achieving because at the end of the day, pile number two, everyone is capable of reaching the same alignment and moving beyond what it is that you are able to ground in. And that's the, that's the purpose of having examples outside of us. If you wanted to re relate it back to like religious um, references, this is like they always said that you were supposed to be like Jesus. And Jesus always said that you were supposed to uh, be better than him. And that's why he would hope for everyone to become better than him, to understand his example as a starting space of a possibility. We have illumination, enlightenment, and celebration. So yeah, this is the purpose of us learning to become our better selves. And this is something that I think you guys have already done a lot of work around learning. You've met a lot of um, spiritual 
lessons of self-sabotage and you've learned what it means to work through your own poverty consciousness or victimhood mentalities and this is something that's really intimidating to people outside of you because you know yourself so well that darkness doesn't really you're not really fearful of darkness anymore your own darkness because you've already gone through the darkest depths of yourself can you see this girl in this cup She's sitting in a dark place, but there's still light shining in on her. And there's still um, life growing around her, even though she's in like a steel building where there's no life inside. So this is saying that you guys would have done a lot of self work around pride. You've learned how pride is self-sabotaging and how pride can be used in the bad in bad ways. You've also learned to identify pride within others to differentiate pride from integrity. You know what I'm saying, and you've learned to adopt your own forms and, and self-personalized understandings of what integrity is to you, and that is your devotion to source. That is your devotion to the greater good, um, and and that's something that you should probably celebrate within yourself with the Queen of Light, Illumination, Enlightenment, and Celebration. And you do celebrate this. You also wholesomely celebrate other people's achievements with their own self-development, you know. And this makes you intimidating as well because you show up. You show up where other people claim to have done work when they haven't. And they prove it through their unknowingness of how to deal with things. Whereas you are someone who can show up, explain inside and out what it is, what they're dealing with, why they're dealing with it, how they can approach it to heal it, how they can transform it, and how they can take goodness out of it. You know? You're very good at following the patterns, by the way. And a lot of synchronicities manifest for you, or at least you're very aware of the synchronicities that take place around you. And you're very good at interpreting um, life lessons from it or life guidance from it. And this is in your own unique way. You guys could even be tarot readers or divinationists or energetic interpretators. Um, yeah. You could also have a divine knowledge of like universal law or karma. And this intimidates people. Another thing is you could be very good at like prophesizing calm to people through, through choices that they make like you could be like the people that are like oh don't do that because this will happen and people don't listen and then they do the thing and then the bad thing happens like what you said and then they come back and they're like uh oh and you're like well can't take back what's being done now friend you know, you're those sorts of people. So yeah, people are really intimidated by your wis your wisdom. With the well watcher being here, number seven, power of the divine. Seven is all about mysticism, self development, metaphysic, uh, metaphysical law. Um, it's all about associations as well. Joyful activity, celebration of life and abundance. Yeah. You guys might also be people who use your wisdom to create abundance in your life, prosperity. But as I can see here, there's someone who's flying. If you guys can see it. They're flying above um, a rock here. So people are also intimidated by you because you're very good at rising above the darkness within all sorts of situations in life. At least you have the potential to when you set your mind to it. And you're the type of people who doesn't kill ego, you heal ego and you mature ego. Big difference. You empower ego instead of disable it, which limits the human consciousness as it is. I don't see the good in, in killing the ego. I really don't. Um, why? In this system that we live in, it requires ego. The way that we've been using ego in the system has been used in negative ways. So if you change the perspective, which I see as though you guys have done, which a lot of people bypass, is that you've changed your perspective of how to use the ego and you're enabling the negative aspects to transform or alchemize the negativity in it and you're using it in positive ways, balanced with moral and virtue or integrity. 
and this is also what you've been seeing and learning about through the examples of others and this is why people are intimidated by you you're good at learning from the experience of life itself and the experience of people that you attract and you're very reflective as it is and you're very good at relating external situations back to the personal self and relating the personal impact back to the external uh, force so you have a very good well-rounded understanding of impact influence and um, aftermath as well as conception of ideas um, and this this intimidates people around you you trigger people's pride pile number two you know um, so those are the messages I have for you today thank you so much for stopping by I appreciate you guys being here and with all that being said until the next time pile number two Hello pile number three, welcome to your reading. Thank you guys so much for being here today. So we're going to be taking a look into the energy and seeing why it is that people are intimidated by you. If you guys chose pile number three, you guys would have chosen the sea lion. Um, and what this talks about here is, I would say recently you guys have probably been meeting a lot of concerns, a lot of worries, especially about finances, career or project or goal um, or the fulfillment of a result of something please don't worry too much like the results are coming into fruition if you've been waiting to hear back from like a job you're going to get a job if you've been waiting or like looking for more money opportunities or like a result from like a project you're going to get what it is that you are hoping for because what came out clarifying the sea lion was uh the pomeranian dog um, so I've said this before, if you see me going like, mm, it's because I'm blind, I need glasses. <laughs> so yeah, um, so this is saying, you know, you guys' concerns and worries and fears is creating a lot of unnecessary stress. And at this point, it's almost becoming lies to yourself. If you've been telling yourself you can't achieve what it is that you set your mind to, you're creating concerns in places that aren't necessary and you're creating stress on yourself. And um, you might regret having that form of sort of partnership with yourself. So this is saying for those of you who have been at a little bit of a conflict with yourself, it's because of the way that you're thinking of what it is that you're capable of achieving with time and consistency. If you try and um, adopt a much more positive attitude and encourage yourself like a friend would encourage you or you would encourage a friend I think you would find yourself moving past stress a lot more easier or processing it through your nervous system to release it so that you can relax appropriately and in restful ways you'll find your sleep improve so much more or your insomnia or like um just your ability to relax you know what I'm saying here so yeah, I also see some of you guys have been going through a lot of struggles, you know, it's been testy waters, we'll say. Um, but what I want you to know, or what this, what Spirit is saying here, is that this is actually a blessing in disguise. If you can see the little lamp here, taking it to like the ref, the reference of the genie when you rub the genie, it comes out. Um... So yeah, this is saying that actually, you know, through all these testy times, you're going to find much more gifts come out of it once once the waters settle. Um, and then you'll be grateful for choosing a choice that you've made or take, undertaking a path that you have or choosing to create and rest in what you've done. Um, you know what I'm saying? We have two nines here, the nine of winter and the nine of summer. So this is saying you've brought an ending and a completion to an old way of doing things or an old way of being or approaching things or looking at things and instead you're now experiencing the polarizing dualistic experience of what it was that you were going through and this is where you're going to start to receive you know what I'm saying you're in before you were in the um patience pro process now you're in the attainment process, you're in the closure process, you're in the result process. So expect to see that coming up in the near future if you have been concerned of those things. I also see here that there's going to be a lot more innocence being experienced in your life. Like if you have children, um, just know that your concerns are going to lessen and you're going to find yourself much more able to be present in your your day-to-day -day experiences with your children. Your mundane concerns will drift away because you're going to start to see better things coming out of the concerns that you've had because there's been a shift of perspective 
you know what I'm saying here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it is, why it is that people are intimidated by you, pile number three. We have integrity and compromise here. The wise woman of Wonderland, number 21, which reduces down to number three. People are intimidated by your expression of integrity, your morals, your values, how dedicated and devoted you are to uh, what you say you are. Uh, you are very honest and genuine individuals and you are very uh, humble and honorable in your ways and approaches. Uh, you do what you say you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? And this of Mars gives you like a certain form of power or like it commands respect from people outside of you. You know, it commands results because the genuine investment is there for the right reasons. So we have predator survival and tyrannical, yeah. You guys have gone through a lot of different stages of having to protect yourself or learn about the downfalls of your focuses, your life path. Uh, the sorts of people that you've interacted with. You've learned to survive through really harsh environments, situations, and conditions. And because of that, you've learned how to lessen the suffering that comes with the journey, which has given you forms of wisdom that you've probably learned inside and out so that you can pass it on to other people here. And people find the way it is that you share the truth with others they see it as an unquestionable strength of yours because the way you present the truth, um, there's not much space for people to question, uh, assume, imagine, or misunderstand. So when you speak, you probably trigger a lot of people because you make people realize things that they hadn't realized prior to the point of you speaking and bringing things to an awareness or an attention. You speak with meaning, you speak with purpose, you've outgrown a lot of past versions of yourself or past people. Some of you guys could have even have found yourself experiencing things like a prison sentence or like a very limited, limiting family. You could have found yourself in like corrupted uh, communities. You could have seen really low experiences of certain things that were supposed to be good. You know what I'm saying? Negative family backgrounds. Um, you guys could have even experienced like a, a certain love situation where you thought that they were the love of your life, but it turned out that they were like your biggest like hater or enemy, you know? You've seen people reveal truest natures of the human capability of embodiment. And um, yeah, you've dealt with a lot of and the evils of other people outside of you, or at least you recognize a lot of evils within the collective consciousness. So, mm, you've been in very limiting spaces, we'll put it that way, pile number three. And you've broken out of it, still very grounded in your own integrity, your own authenticity, your own self-expression. You guys probably have a reputation of being a wise person, and you seem to have a very beautiful perspective of life even though you've been through some very, 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 very dark times with some very, 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 very dark forces, you know, with some very heavy imposed conditions and limitations and ways of living. But it's taught you some very, very valuable lessons of what it means to navigate the world of material or the third dimension. People are intimidated of you because of how it is that you navigate your life pile number three. How it is that you are able to seem to have good things happen even in the worst sorts of situations. It's because spirit are looking after you or looking out for, for you and trying to protect you from the absolute worst. This is why you'll find assistance even in, like, in the most struggling of times um you know and people are intimidated by you because of this it's the good karma you build up from the genuine the genuinity and the integrity that you share in the world outside of you you're true to yourself and you're true to others as a result people are intimidated 
intimidated by you because of the map maker of destiny this says authentic purpose inspiration and free will number 24 which reduces down to number six so this is saying once again people are just intimidated with how dedicated you are to the path that you're on and the goals you've set for yourself you're kind of making something happen from nothing like you built like a business from the ground up you're focused on changing yourself from someone that you used to be you achieved a certain lifestyle on your own without any assistance and you've defied a lot of opinions or defied a lot of like set limitations that were imposed on you um you've also outsmarted a lot of little mischievous sorts of movements from people around you in the background there are little pixies pixies usually represent mischievous energies so you've probably seen through a lot of little illusions or like miscommunications manipulations or like little i don't know all i can say is like mischievous movements outside of you and you've seen through and outsmarted those sorts of uh abilities within people so people can't really sneak up on you outsmart you or trick you or manipulate you through mischievousness because once again you're in your own lane and you're focused on your authentic purpose which means you're focused on what is most meaningful to you that is your authentic purpose purpose is what is meaningful to you we have philosophy discrimination and empathy so a lot of people are intimidated of your intelligence, your emotional intelligence, I would say, and your ability to understand others. It's because you prioritize um, creating understanding rather than indifference, um, creating acceptance rather than um, creating like division or like separation. Um, this gets you ahead and helps you to raise the consciousness between connections of other people outside of you as well because you union ideas. Uh, you're very philosophical in your ways of thought um, and you're very good at showing empathy where it's necessary which helps motivate and move people into better ways of being and processing information you make information digestible when it's intimidating or uncomfortable you know and that's a gift of yours and it's something that intimidates other people because they know when they come and speak to you you're not going to sugarcoat the truth but you're going to at least make the truth digestible uh we have alpha foresight planning and strategy yeah you're very good with your words and you're very good at creating effective change when you put your mind to it you'll probably find yourself very good at strategizing and gifting advice or guidance for other people as well when it comes to positive change or like positive transformation and effect in their life so yeah that's why people are really kind of intimidated by you they see you as someone who has a lot of connections or a lot of under different understandings or a lot of ways of reaching different perspectives of different sorts of people um this is what puts you in like a position of being able to influence destiny because you're fully aware of what takes place in the prison and what you contribute to uh what operates internally authentically to you and what is created externally as a reflection of the internal operation of others um you're very good at, at tapping into your foresight to envision the consequences of investments from the now which could reflect as clairvoyance within you or a heightened form of understanding behind your intuition and it's quite obvious through you and your self-expression and the way it is that you carry yourself through life you know you're very instinctually aware you're very intelligent and you're very diverse from experience either through experiences that you've attracted through other people outside of you or experiences that you've gone through in yourself we have the self memories and identity yeah star seed here you guys would probably be very very attuned well practiced informed um well-rounded in your own forms of attractions and spirituality which has helped you to kind of develop yourself you could even be part of spiritual communities uh, where you post a lot of things, where you share a lot of inspirations, a lot of self-reflections, and a lot of spiritual lessons. 
um, you know what I'm saying, and this intimidates people as well. They see you as much more highly evolved than the, the common now, common common people, common person. And that intimidates people, pile number three. So those are the messages I have for you today. Thank you so very much for stopping by. I hope this has come a positive service to you. And with all that being said, until next time. Bye-bye. Hello, pile number four, and welcome to your reading. Thank you guys so much for being here today. So if you chose pile number four, you guys would have chosen a dragonfly. <sighs> Tapping into your energy right now. So I would say that you guys have probably been formulating a positive outlook on life, a positive attitude. You guys have been disciplining a much more positive lifestyle into being, I would say. You guys are looking for the good in life um, and focusing more on that rather than the things that hold you back or come to challenge you. Um, I would say that you've gone through transformational processes within your environment as well. You could have been brightening up your surroundings and stuff like that you know what i'm saying you could have moved um you could have found yourself in a new location in other words you know you could have also traveled um to a sunnier place or a place that is supporting you much better this could also be in your career field or like workspace uh by the way mm. So I'd say there's probably been a lot of fast-paced change around you recently and you've been called to action in a lot more fleeting ways, like unprepared. It's like you've been unprepared for, changes you've been unprepared for. And this has even been welcomed into your thought forms as well as what I just heard here. Mm. So, I don't know, things have been happening so fast, it could have been intimidating you at how quickly life has been moving. Um, the thing is, life's not moving really quickly right now you're more so catching up to how much of life has been taking place around you uh it feels like it's moving fast because your conscious mind is recognizing how much work you've already been unintentionally or un unconsciously doing in the background leading up until this point and that's what's made you feel like you're undertaking a lot of change really quickly when no it's like it's everything's coming into balance which is why it's feeling like it's all a little bit crazy <laughs> To be honest right now you're coming into a space of rest and settlement though um, and you're going to find yourself in a much more pleasant place uh, when you do stop and reflect than what you had imagined yourself to be in so just remember pile number four that there's a lot of niceness and goodness and beauty and happiness and rest and reasons to appreciate your life right now and the energy is asking that you slow down so that you can um kind of embrace the goodness that is you and that is around you you know so you might have felt things being really really fast and then all of a sudden like suddenly halted for a second it's so that you can rest and breathe <laughs> and catch up a little bit on the reality of things so that you can integrate it into into like your acceptance if that makes sense so a, a reason why i'm hearing people are intimidated by you is because you, you guys could be like a devil's advocate you see the good and the bad in people but you accept them for what they are and who they are and where they're at and that, and that's kind of intimidating to people outside of you because you see the truth of people and you're fully accepting of who they are without judgment so i would say you're quite open to a diverse range of sorts of people that have different sorts of outlooks um lives complete different lifestyles and are known for completely different things uh, but you're accepting of all walks of life and this intimidates people outside of you because they're like well you don't have a set in stone like sort of expectation of people or life and it makes you very lovable and welcoming and nurturing and comfortable and this intimidates people because like people people who are intimidated by you are probably very used to being very hung up or high strung or like so serious or like so limited so chaotic or so like anxious um, and you probably show them that they are safe to just be. And a lot of people who are used to habitual stress will struggle to release that stress. And they will create drama or reasons to struggle or reasons to stress. <laughs> you know? 
We have material wealth and true prosperity. The diamond dreamer. So you might actually attract in a lot of people who um, are quite materially intrigued or possessive. Like you guys have really good ideas. Um, and I think some people would have probably taken advantage of your, and like, you're very inspirational, so some people could have taken advantage of your ability to deeply reflect on the true value of certain things in life and themselves, and it could have left you feeling taken advantage of in the past. Foresight, planning, and strategy, yeah, because people, um, were taking advantage of, like, your spiritual gifts or ability to see into consequence or investment, and, um, yeah, they might have just, you might have felt used for your guidance. Positive expectations and clarity. But you accepted it, you know what I'm saying? You moved past those feelings of, like, I don't know, whatever it was. And instead, you were fully satisfied with passing on truth, passing on knowledge. And this has intimidated a lot of people because they now see that you don't need validation and you don't need them. They need you and they're realizing that just so you know. Okay, so why is it that people are intimidated of those who have chosen pile number four, please, guys and guardians? We have trust and strategizing, number 30. You trust in your ability to discern what is most appropriate to create the best possible actions that support the best possible outcomes in your life circumstances, conditions, and day-to-day -day life. Your challenges. You're very good at trusting within yourself to build through your challenges, with the chess queen being here. You're very well calculated, you're very intellectual, you're very logical, but you're also very well balanced and feeling. Like, uh, for example, like... Would it be like sensual intellect? You're very aware of your senses. You've got heightened senses. You know what I'm saying? And you use... Your authentic truth to help yourself to strategize toward possibility and potential with the chess queen being here and matched with the butterf uh, the dragonfly. Then you have surprises, something shock, total parad a paradigm shift. You change a lot of people's perspectives, ideals, desires, understandings, thoughts. 35. Yeah, you bring people to the completion of cycles that they don't need to be on. And it's like you provide life direction to people outside of you. So I'm also seeing the lamb totem here. Yeah, you're very good at leading a direction. Uh, for example, you will help people to realize what is helpful for them, what is not helpful for them, how to care for themselves better, and what to leave behind that sabotages their ability to self-nurture. Um, and with you doing this, you help to shift paradigms, belief systems, perspectives, um, and understandings of self. So you come as a surprise to a lot of people because, once again, you're very good at seeing things from many different ways, angles, and understandings or depths of internalization and effect. All right, let's go ahead and move on here to take a look at how it is that people are intimidated by those who have chosen pile number four, please, guys, guardians, and universe with the animal totems being here. We have the lion and we have the butterfly. So this is talking about you guys being able to help people to step into their own leadership, to help people to take control of their own lives and to recognize where it is that they're lazy or where it is that they disregard their own power. Um, you show people where it is that they hold themselves back from full, total life transformation. Um, you're very good at giving guidance and you're very heightened within your intuition, your instinctual awareness, um, and within your senses. Uh, you understand the psyche in a well-rounded way because you've gone through metamorphosis yourself, a reinvention of self. You've had to go from situations where you allowed life to kind of happen for you and you took control of life instead and directed it 
and used it to grow you in the best possible ways. You also help other people to learn how it is that they can use their life experience to grow them in positive ways. And how you help them to see beyond the the negativity that comes out of their experiences. You know what I'm saying? You're a good leader. You're inspirational. You're protective. And you have very good protection modalities. Uh, you have very good wisdom, insight, and knowledge as well. And I would say that you probably share this freely to bring everyone equal to an awareness that you understand and that you operate through yourself. You're very advanced individuals in ways of um, knowing how to take control in your life, knowing how to use your talents and your skill sets in bold ways that attract in abundance and good luck. You know what I'm saying? But you do these in very authentic ways, which means I would say that people are intimidated of your ability to understand people better than they understand themselves. Pile number four. And that's really quite the truth of the matter. Um, you also help people to understand how they can always become better versions of themselves. So you would be the people to be like, some people might say who are at a lower vibration that you're the types of people who are always like, Nothing is ever good enough, but from a higher perspective, from people who are higher vibrational, much more positive, they see you as um, very encouraging because you want to encourage the best in people and you understand that each level that we get to within our best versions of self, another possibility of a version of self is forming in energy, um, which becomes a choice to the consciousness or the free will of the individual to then embody or become or develop. Um, you know, and you advise this to people, you point it out to people, you show them that there's never um, a stop to self-evolution and self-betterment, and that's intimidating to the people outside of you. So those are the messages I have for you today, pile number four. Thank you so very much for stopping by. I hope this has come up on a positive service. And drink more water, please. Is what I just heard. Drink more water. Speak into the water your intentions, and then consume the water. It will help you to align to the vibrations that you set. With all that being said, until next time, part number four.